Hey, what's up? It's BMAC FPV. Going to uh, upgrade my Wizard X220 here. Uh, upgrade it from the FS IA6B to the FR Sky X4R so I can start using my Tyrannus QX7. I uh, didn't really see like a lot of good videos uh, that kind of explained it specifically to the Wizard and this uh, Clean Flight SP Racing uh, MOF3 V1 board that the Wizard has. Mostly I sell them for Evo and other uh, boards. So I decided I'd go ahead and film this and see if I can uh, clear up some confusion. Alright, so first thing you want to do is uh, unplug your old FSIA6B and set that aside and uh, then you want to take this connector that was connecting that receiver to your board and switch it to the back here now you're going to want to take this end and connect it to the second set, the bottom set of pins here Um, with the black wire on the bottom. This wiring diagram shows the correct schematics for how you hook up the wires. So you plug it in just as I said here, but uh, the wires are in reverse of what I said in the video. And then uh, you take all the wires, all three wires out except for this yellow one and solder it into this third pin. Now, now this uh, X4R came with this connector and everything's hooked up right now except for telemetry and to get telemetry to work I'm gonna zoom in because it's really tiny alright so here's the connector we just plugged in now at the back of the board and if you look you have this UART2 right here you have to solder in a wire unless you have a connector that connects to this which I don't you have to solder in a wire to this third pin from the far right pin on this connector right here so the way you do that, I'm going to zoom back out a little ways is you take this connector and uh, you create the connector you need I mean it actually has it right now it would be this white wire it would be this white wire so you, you could just clip all these um, which I may do or the best thing to do would be to take a tool like this and pry up and remove so you, you uh, look at it from the bottom let me zoom in again and uh, there's a little plastic tab these little plastic tabs you just pry up underneath it and pull the wire out and the whole connector comes out so I'm going to try to do that this is really 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 small so Let's see if I can There we go, it's nice and clear for you. And be careful not to send this thing into your finger. OK. 
Okay, there's one. Push this in, and I'll have a picture diagram to show this. But uh, yeah, so it's connected here. Now I'm gonna try to get this kind of similar length, and uh, oh, sorry. I mean, I could probably do this without clipping this at all. Alright, gave myself a little wire. Turn on my soldering iron. This is going to be fun right here. Now, I take this wire and attach it to the third pin from the right on this tiny well you are two and that gives you telemetry did I get it? did. Wow. Holy crap that's hard and the wire just keeps burning. So, but I think this one is okay. It's a little, little bit shorter. You know what I might do? Take just a little piece of electrical tape. I know chances of this staying are slim to none. I don't think the wire will be a problem, but this is just to make sure, try to make sure anyways. Because I'm not trying it for a third time. <laughs> Alright, that should be it. Now we should have the FR Sky X4R connected to the second set of pins. Switch to the back side here. That should be everything. If you're wondering what this piece of electrical tape is here, there was a slight cut in uh, the jacket of the wire. So. Just trying to make sure everything's good. All right, now let's test her. Let's put the battery in. E yeah, I think I have this backwards. There we go. Okay, it's a little confusing because these colors don't match up with certain things, but 
the black should be on the bottom here and the black should be on the top of the three pins right here. So I got an LED flashing. So that's good. Alright, that's how you switch out from uh, your standard FSIA6B to the Q4A. Q4, I'm sorry, <laughs> to the X4A, X4R SB. Hey guys, so uh, confirmed that my receiver is plugged up correctly and everything's wired in correctly so I'm going to try to attempt to figure out how to bind this Tyrannus QX7 to the receiver so obviously I guess the first thing I need to do is turn it on alright I'm going to push this middle button And now page, and I'm going to scroll down, looking for something that talks about binding. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's on D16. Not sure what there is, just D8. Yeah, okay. Since this is a 16 channel version, channel range is 1 through 16. I'm going to assume that this means bind. So I'm going to press it. Okay, it's chirping. Now I'm going to plug the power in, and uh, I believe you have to hold this FS button down while you hold, put the power in, so I'm going to use this, uh, I'm going to use the big one. I'm going to use this 3 millimeter if I can fits in there good. Hold the button down and now I'm going to plug it in. Try to. Okay. Alright, I'm going to let go. And uh, now I have a solid green light and a red blinking light which is where it's supposed to be beeping at me, so I'm going to hit it. Alright, this stopped chirping. Now I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to plug it back in. Alright, that should be uh, everything, and this uh, remote should be now bound, I mean the radio should be bound to the receiver. Now I need to go into Betaflight and uh, configure uh, beta flight for this uh, radio so I will do that if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe bye bye I'm gonna leave a couple videos right here and right here and if you'd like to subscribe click on my face right here